Hey, hey, hey! Hey, dear students, how are you? Are you fine? I hope so. For me, I'm just great. Are you ready to start today's session? Mm, of course, I'm ready. So let's go ahead and start it. Okay, today we're going to start a new unit, which is Unit 7. And its title is The Little Worms Get Into Shape. The little worms get into shape. As you can see in the picture, there are three worms. One, two, three, and a bug. So we got we got four characters in, in this story. Of course, the new unit has a new story. And there's the, the, the three little worms get tangled while forming shapes. Mm hmm a nice story. Let's hear about it. And you know that before reading the story, we have to new, to have our new study and our new vocabulary. So let's go ahead. The first word we have today is star. As you can see, star, star. One more time, star, St star. Star and it's a noun, it's a noun as a star. And I think you remember the, differ the, the difference between nouns, verbs, um, adverbs, and adjectives. The noun is the name of a person, place, or a thing, and the star is a thing, so it's a I can't hear you. A noun, example, can you count the stars in the sky? I'm asking you now. Can you count the stars in the sky? Can you do that? It's a night thing looking at, at night, spending the night at looking at the stars and counting them. So again, one more time. Star. 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 And it's a noun. By the way, in here, in this part, you can click here and you will listen to the to the pronunciation audio more and more. Let's move to the next one. What can you see here? Oh, I forget to mention something. That star is, a star is, it's a shape, a sample with four, a sample with four or more points. A sample with four, one, two, three, four, five or more points to form a star. So this is the star. How it looks like the star I'm giving you always when you when you do your homework. Do you remember? Okay, let's move to the next word, which is as you can see, square, 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 and it's a flat shape with four sides of equal length and four angles at 90. It's something related to geometry. I'm gonna know about it later. But let's know now that this is the shape of the square, as you can see, square. And is it a noun or a verb? A noun. So one more time, square, square. Do you remember that? The yeah, can you see that here there is a, there is a, there is a letter A at the, at the end of this, of this word, square, and you know, square, square, did they pronounce E here? No, so it's a silent E, so we got here a silent letter, we got a silent letter at the end of this word, which is E, the magic E. And what, do you remember what the, the E is doing? It's giving her power to the vowel here. So as you can see, square, square. I pronounce the vowels strongly. And it's a noun. Example, you have to use a rule when you're drawing a square. You have to use a rule when you're drawing a square, not only a rule. Next word, which is rectangle. By the way, in this unit, we are talking mostly of the mostly of the vocab is about um, some samples: rectangle, triangle, square, and star. As you know, the the, the, the the worms were shaping shaping some shapes that when they are forming 
um, where they're doing exercise. And I want to ask you something. Why worms? Why I'm talking about worms? Why are our stories about worms? Why not humans? Why not me and you? Why, not, why it's about worms and a bug? Really? Anyway, so this word is rectangle. 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 Rectangle is a noun and it means this is the rectangle. And rectangle is also a flat shape with 490 angles and four sides with opposite side of equal length. With opposite side of equal length. Don't ask me what does it mean. Okay, it's a rectangle and this is the shape of the rectangle. <laughs> Same thing. Okay, and a rectangle is a, of course it's a noun. Example, it's a colorful rectangle. It's a colorful rectangle. One more time, rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. So let's read the words again, the three word, words again. Star, square, rectangle. Can you just put them in, in some sentence? I'm waiting you. It's an exercise, put each word in a sentence. Okay, and here we are, the next word, let's move. Triangle, 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 triangle. Triangle. One more time. Triangle. And it's a noun and it means a flat shape with three straight sides. A flat shape with three straight sides. Three straight sides. A flat shape with three, one, two, three sides. And it's a noun. Triangle. Example Joe's books were marked with a blue triangle. Let's move to the next slide. Hmm, what can you see here? Boys and a girl or or what they are doing here? Eating? No. They are having some exercise. They are doing some exercise. So exercise. 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 Magic E. Exercise and is it a verb or a noun? Can you do exercise? Yes, so it's a verb. It's a verb. Any action you can do is a verb. So, and here are the first verb we have in our unit, which is exercise. Exercise, it's an exercise, is a physical activity. A physical activity, it means that you're doing it by your body. Physical activity that you do to make your body strong and healthy. To make your body strong and healthy. You can play some football as an exercise, jump through, jump drop, or... No, this is, uh, this is too old for your age. No, uh, you're still young. And you can swim. So there are many types of exercise you can do daily. Even you can walk for some time or run in your place. And it's a synonym as. Do you remember the synonym and the antonym? The synonym is the same meaning. S equal S. The synonym is the same meaning. And the antonym is the opposite meaning. The opposite meaning. So synonym, the synonym for exercise is work out. Work out. Example. Swimming is my favorite form of exercise to keep my body in shape. Swimming is my favorite form of exercise to keep my body in shape. What do you do to keep your body in shape? What do you do to keep your body in shape? Of course, you know that having a healthy and a strong body needs to eat a healthy and a healthy food. I hope you're eating healthy food. I cannot see what you're having for breakfast and lunch in these days, but I'm sure that you're having healthy food. So let's move to the next slide. Hmm, what can you see in this picture? It's a man and he's... Mm, 
He's confused. Confused. One more time. Confused. Confused. As you can see, he's confused. There are many questions more around his head. He cannot think. What do I mean by confused? Confused. It's an adjective. As it's. The, oh, do you remember? The adjective is. Uh, uh, the, the adjective is describing. Describing the word. Describing the noun. Describing the noun. This man is confused. I'm describing how he feels. So confused is an adjective and it means that this man is unable to think clearly or understand something. Unable, he can't do it right now. He can't think right now. Or he can, he's not understanding what I'm talking about or what his friend is telling him. So confused is an adjective and it means to be not able to think clearly or understand something. As, do you remember when sometimes I was talking about uh, when we were having a, a grammar a grammar rule and sometimes you feel confused about it you cannot understand it or um, you cannot able you you're not able to think clearly about it. This is what we mean by confused and it's a synonym is which is the same meaning as puzzled puzzled. Uh, do you know the puzzle? But it's not this puzzle. It's puzzled. It's an adjective too. So it's not the noun, the toy we have. They play the game. Example: He was depressed and in a confused state of mind. He was depressed and in a confused state of mind. Pronounce it one more time. Confused. Confused. It's an in the. The ed is here, is and it means that past. It's something in the past. A word in the past. Simple. Simple past. Let's move to the next one. And can you see here another shape? It's a, a circle. Circle. One more time. Circle. 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 One more time. S circle. Circle. And we got E at the end of this word, circle. And it's a thing, so it's a shape, so it's a noun. It's a noun, and it means a continuous curved line. A continuous curved line. The points of each are always the same distance from the, the fixed central point. This is the fixed central point, the middle here. Example, we are going around in circles. We are going around in circles. The last word is... Can you see that shape? Can you see? Can you understand it? Can you see, can you see what it's shaping like? No, because it's tangle. It's a tangle. 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 And it's a noun. It means that there is untidy mess, untidy mass of things, and are not a state of order. They are not in a state of order. They are just tangled. Its synonym is twist, and the antonym, the first antonym we got here, and it's untangled. So easy, just add on you and at the beginning. So it's untangled, untangled. Example, the, the wall got in a fearful tangle. The wall got in a fearful tangle. This was the vocabulary part in our unit. And now, take a deep, a deep breath. And let's go ahead to our story. Before reading the story, let's remember together the story elements we have. Remember the story elements? The story elements are the elements we got to find in any story. And there now there are five. We added a new element. Okay, first of all, it's the title. So number one is the title. The title is the, the name of the story. The author, and the author is the one who writes the story. Illustrator, here, here is the new element. 
illustrator, illustrator. An illustrator is the new element in our story elements, and he is or she is the one who draws the pictures in our story, especially in books. So the one who draws pictures in our story, the one who imagine or she imagine how the story who is talking and drawing the characters in our story and the places and drawing every element in the story. This is the illustrator. And the, of course the illustrator and the author had a great imagination for the setting. And we mentioned before that the setting is the place of the time in the story. So who are the characters? The characters in the story are the people or animals in the story. But not worms. No, I'm just kidding. Worms are characters in this story. It's a video to about the story elements, remember it? We're not going to watch it, but you can watch it while I will send your moms the, the link to follow it and, and watch the and watch the the video. Okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. This is the cover of the story. As you can see, the first element we have is the title. And the title is the name of the story. And here is the title. The three little worms get into shape. The three little worms get into shape. Let's move to the next element, which is the author. The author is the one who writes the story, and his name is David L. Whopper. David L. Whopper. Where can we find the Where can we find the the author? Up, up, up on the cover of the page. No, uh, maybe at the cover. No, the the title. I'm sorry. The title. We can find the story up, up, up in the cover of the page. But the the but the author, maybe Dan, or. Up just under it below the, the title. Okay, the new element is the illustrator. The person who draws pictures specially for books. Who draws pictures specially for books. He's drawing every single detail in the in the book in the store. As you can see, he's drawing this. And his name is Logan and this the, the, the one who drew our story drew our story is Logan S. Klein. D Logan S. Klein. For the characters. The characters are the people or animals in the story. And we got four characters in this story. And their names are Squirmy, Wormy, Mortimer, and Buggy Bucky Bug. Of course, this is Bucky Bug. I don't know which one of them is more Mortimer or Wormy or Squirmy. I don't know which one of them. Is, uh, no. Oh, check this. Check this. It's my first time to, to see it. Each one of them, each one of the worms, is wearing a shirt, and and the first letter of his name is on is printed on the shirt. So this is a Squirmy. This is Wormy, and of course, this is more timer. Oh, okay. Now I know which one of them is. I now I know their names, and this is of course Bucky Buck. The last element we have is the 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 setting, and the setting is the place or the time in the story. And I can see that this the, their place is street, mm, class. Mm. A spa? No, they are in the garden. They are in the garden. So now we got the story elements. So I want you please to open your reading book, open open your seven, and circle and underline the cat the, the story elements you got and you can find on the cover page. Let me ask you some questions before we start. 
What kind? Not this one. What do you keep them in your mind and you will answer it later when we finish reading the story? What do you think? What do you think worms are doing? What do you think worms are doing? And which shapes do you think they will form? Another. Do you like exercising? What kind of exercise you do? Do you play sports too? If not, what sport would you like to practice? Keep them in your okay. Just answer my qu these questions right now. Do you like exercising or no? What kind of exercise do you do? And do you play sports too? If not, what kind of a sport do you like to practice? And these questions, keep them in your mind till we finish this way. This is the cover page, it's, but it's cropped. This is the title, characters. You can, you, you're gonna do it with, without help. Circle the story elements that we got, that, like we were doing in the class before, and hold your sticky notes and mention each one. So let's read the story. Are you ready for that? You ready for reading the story? Now we know the vocabulary and the story elements. So why not we read the story? Let's go ahead and read it. But before, open your reading book, hold your pencil, and follow me with each word I'm reading. And when I, and stop me when you when you meet a new word we have taken today. Stop me when you meet a new word and the vocabulary and our vocabulary for today. And say, hey miss, it's underline the word and tell me what it means and tell your tell your mom if she, if, or, your, or your dad if he's, he or she's sitting beside you and tell them what it means and pronounce it correctly and mention the synonym or the antonym if they have. So let's uh, let's read. Squirmy, Wormy and Mortimer were playing jump probe with Bucky Buck. So the three worms and the Bucky Buck were playing jump probe, jump probe together. Hmm. This exercise is good for getting into sheep, said Bucky. But. Can we stop and rest? So Bucky said that this exercise jumping rope is good for good for getting in shape. But it was asking for some rest too. Sure, said Squirmy. You just gave me an idea. While we rest, we will get into shapes. Watch. Hmm. Squirmy said that while they are having rest, he got a new idea, as well, while they are having rest, they can get into shapes. that real? Can we get into shapes while we're having some rest? Let's watch what they are going to do. Turn to the other page. First, they made the circle. As you can see, they made the circle. The three worms and Bucky Buck with helping him, them. First, they made a circle. Let's count together how many shapes they got they did. How many shapes they could form. So, first they made a circle, number one. Then, they made a square, two. They made a square, two. Is it hard for them or no? They were just smiling here, but I guess the square, making a square was more exhausting for them turn the page then they made a rectangle they made a rectangle can you see this is the shape of rectangle as you can see here they are just resting they are not jumping or walking or running they are resting in their place staying in the place but they are also forming a shape with their body so how many how many shapes we have now three circle 
square and the rectangle. Is it any more? What do you think? Are they gonna to form more shapes or just only three? Let's see. Then they even made a triangle. As you can see, it was hard for them. It's not resting anymore. They're not resting anymore. What they're uh, forming a triangle. As you can see, Bucky Bug was helping them, and they're uh, st square me as just. Mm, I think it was hard for them to form a triangle. So we got four shapes right now. Is that enough or still no worms? Worms, don't you get tired? Mm, as I can see them now, they are not. <laughs> they are tangled right now. Can you see? This is tangled. And as you can see, the bucky bug is confused. Confused. Now, let's make a star, said Wormy. But when the but when they started twisting and turning, they got very confused. I don't think we are in the shape of a star, said Squirmy. Of course you're not in the shape of the star. You are tangled right now and confused. Bucky said, no, you are in the shape of a squirmy, wormy, more tangle. <laughs> yes, they formed a new shape, which is a squirmy, and they named it too. Squirmy, wormy, more time, more tangle. <laughs> it's not a shape. <laughs> Worms, wake up and go and do more exercises again. So it's not a shape anymore. So how many, how many, is it, is it really a shape? No. <laughs> Let's try again, said Wormy, but said Wormy. Bucky can tell us what to do. Bucky had the giving them the instructions to form and helping them to form a, a star. At the end, you did it! You made a star, said Bucky. What can you what can we do now? So at the end, they formed a star. Wow! They, are they were challenging, challenging themselves. They think that they couldn't form it, but at the end, they tried again and again and again till they formed a star. What can we do now? asked the squirmy. Let's play jump rope again, said Wormy. Okay, said Mortimer, but this time, someone else can be the jump rope. But this time, someone else can be the jump rope. <laughs> of course, they mean. I guess they mean Bucky Bug. This was the story. The four. The so how many? How many shapes did they form? Circle, square, rectangle, triangle, and the star. They formed five shapes. With only falling, failing to form a star, but they try it again and again. And that's the moral lesson. You have to. We got two. We got, uh, okay. It's, it's a hint that while you're having some rest, you can form some shapes to get to stretch your body. And also, you, you never have to give up. You have to try forever, try more, one, two, three times, even a million times, to get what you want, and to reach what you want. Even, as you can see, even forming a shape, which is, it's not a thing to mention, it's not a hard thing, but they didn't give, they didn't give, they didn't give up. They try it again and again. So, you don't have to give up, and try for, try many times to reach your goal. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> this was our lesson. This was our session today. And this was Miss Iman, your most favorite teacher, of course. I know that. <laughs> okay, this was Miss Iman, and have a and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you for attending the session. See you the next time.